Hello friends. You are most welcome to my channel. Today we'll drive deep into the ocean. We'll explore the world under the water. We'll know many unknown things. We all are stuck at home for a long while due to the situation of the COVID pandemic. After partially getting rid of that, we all wish to need a vacation. Whether it is long or short, we must need a vacation or at least to hang out outside with friends. If you are a travel lover and travel a lot, if you complete all the cities and all the countries in the world, you have only explored 30% of the world. Yes, the world is 70% covered by water. And this 70% is a different world. This world has trillions of species, some of them are known and most of them are unknown. drive into it. The ocean is so deep. In some places, it's more than 11,000 meters below the surface. But most of the fishes and other species found in the first 200 meters close to the surface. This 200 meters has lights and oxygen availability. Trillions and trillions of single-celled algae and bacteria make up the foundation of the ocean ecosystem. They are consumed by bigger plankton. And other species consume them for their life. Nature's rule is that always bigger species eat smaller species. If we drive deeper than 200 meters from the surface the light is darker. This surface is called the surface of the moon. This surface seems to be endless open water. Drive deeper to leave the surface of the moon behind us. We will reach the twilight zone nearly 300 meters below the surface. It seems like a portal to the deep sea. Already the water pressure has reached a deadly level. The deepest scuba dive ever reached 332 meters only. If I try to explain the water pressure at that point into the ocean I can tell that he feels 200 cars on top of him. So if the ocean is 11,000 meters deeper then we can hardly reach 2 to 3% deep only. To explore deeper, the only machine can reach there and humans can operate remotely. 600 meters from the surface, it's called the dark zone. Species come to this zone to hide from predators or for recovery purposes. In this dark zone light is a powerful tool. Most of the species of this zone create lights. 
through bioluminescence chemicals. Let's see some underwater species. Look carefully at this piglet squint. It does not look like one nose, chores with some spike hair. The leafy sea dragon or glowered sea dragon is a marine fish in the family Zingnathidae, which includes sea dragons, pipefish, and seahorses. It is the only member of the genus Phycodurus. It is found along the southern and western coasts of Australia. This coral looks like a tree. Members of the genus Lotheus, also sometimes called monkfish, fishing frogs, frogfish, and sea devils, are various species of lofiated anglerfishes found in the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. This is another beauty of the ocean. It looks like a coconut tree. The vampire squid is a small cephalopod found throughout temperate and tropical oceans in extremely deep sea conditions. The vampire squid uses its bioluminescent organs and its unique oxygen metabolism to thrive in the parts of the ocean with the lowest concentrations of oxygen. A surprisingly exotic animal that frequents the shores of the British coast, the feather star is classified as an echinoderm, sharing traits with animals such as starfish, sea urchins, and even sea cucumbers. Feather stars display a wide variety of colors and get their unique look from a set of five pairs of highly dexterous arms that are long, spindly, and exhibit the characteristic feathery look. Sea anemones are the marine, predatory animals of the order Actini area. They are named after the anemone, a terrestrial flowering plant because of the colorful appearance of many. This is a white squid. Looks like a sea ghost. This is another angular fish. They hunt faster than you blink. Pretty much everything about the venomous red lionfish its red and white zebra stripes long, showy pectoral fins, and generally cantankerous Demeter say, don't touch. Both stony corals and soft corals can be found in the deep sea. Deep sea corals do not have the same algae and do not need sunlight or warm water to survive. But they also grow very slowly. One place to find them is on underwater peaks called sea mounts. Some fish tend to swim in groups in order to protect themselves from their predators. The collective noun which denotes such a group depends on the species of the fish in the group, as exemplified by the terms a troop of dogfish, a swarm of eels, and a glide of flying fish. Some fish tend to swim in groups in order to protect themselves from their predators. The collective noun which denotes such a group depends on the species of the fish in the group, as exemplified by the terms a troop of dogfish, a swarm of eels, and a glide of flying fish. Feather stars are crinoids which are marine animals, 
wandering around and passing food into their mouths which are on top in the center of all those arms. Sea urchins are typically spiny, globular animals. Their hard shells are round and spiny, usually from 3 to 10 centimeters across. Triggerfish The 40 species of triggerfish are scattered throughout the world's seas and are familiar to divers and aquarium aficionados. Largest of all is the stone triggerfish, which reaches up to 3.3 feet long, found in the eastern Pacific from Mexico to Chile. Crossoda jellyfish look like fireworks in the night sky. Crossoda is a genus of hydrozoans of the family Ropolonomatidae. The genus comprises five species. Unlike most hydromedusae, these do not have a sessile stage. Rather, they spend their entire lives in the water column as plankton. The genus Crossoda is widespread throughout the oceans. Histiotuthis hedorosus also known as the strawberry squid, is a species of small cockeyed squid. The bloody belly cone jelly. This tenophore was first collected in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of San Diego, California, in 1979. Brilliant and seemingly glowing, the bloody belly cone jelly comes in different shades of red but always has a blood red stomach. The sparkling display on the outside comes from light diffraction and refracting off tiny transparent, hair-like cilia. These beep continuously, propelling the jelly through the water. Scientists believe the bloody belly's red belly helps mask bioluminescent life from the prey it consumes. Fish can better defend their territory in a group. It is also believed that swimming close together reduces friction and allows fish to conserve energy while swimming. One when dinner time comes along, food is easier to find as a group. Having 50 sets of eyes and noses gives the school a better chance of locating food. In biology, any group of fish that stays together for social reasons is shoaling, and if the group is swimming in the same direction in a coordinated manner, they are schooling. About one quarter of fish species shoal all their lives, and about one half shoal for part of their lives. Schooling fish often swim in a staggered diamond pattern, riding the wake of whoever is in front. In principle, Thanks to the physics of fluid dynamics, this should save the fish some effort. A beating fishtail creates a small vortex in the water behind it. If a fish swims directly behind its leader, these vortices push against it, forcing the follower to swim harder. The octopus marginatus, also known as the coconut octopus and veined octopus, is a medium-sized cephalopod belonging to the genus Amphioctopus. It is found in tropical waters of the western Pacific Ocean.
So friends here are a little presentation of the underwater world. Much more unknown things are still left to explore. Let me know which things surprised you most. If you want a second part then comment below, subscribe, and press the bell icon and wait a few days to get the second part soon. Thank you for watching. See you in another video. Take care friends. Bye.